Edward is an old and kind man. He works hard and has plenty of experience on the island of Soda. That being the case, however, his age meant he was not as fast as he used to be. This used to discourage the wise engine, but he soon realized that he didn't have to be a strong, fast engine to be really useful. Other engines, of course, knew this too and had a great deal of respect for Edward and his determination. Even the more boastful engines like Gordon respected him. Although, there will be many times where Gordon brings up Edward's old age without any intention of doing so. And he did so one morning in Nafford Station. It feels great to be a fast, strong engine, he boasted. A strong engine such as myself can handle all the weight of these coaches. And my speed is simply unmatched by any others here. You may have been one of the best in your time, Edward, but times do change. James happened to be nearby. Edward may be old, he began, but he caught up to me when I was out of control. He may not be as strong as any of us, but his determination will leave any of us surprised. Gordon huffed, feeling slightly offended. An old engine like Edward? Giving me a run for my money. Ha! The guard's whistle blew, and Gordon set off. Edward laughed. He's right, you know. Even in my prime, I'd never be anything like him. After that, Edward set off with his own passengers. The next day, Edward was sent to the harbor to pick up special cargo. Much to his surprise, it was the jet engine. Workers were cleaning it to make it shine. Edward was most impressed as he backed down and coupled up to the jet engine. I'm sorry to say, however, one of the cleaners was skittish and jumped at the sound of Bill and Ben's whistle as they came in, whistling loudly. That's a beauty, exclaimed Ben. What a sight to... He was cut off as there was an odd sound. What's that sound? asked Bill. That sound was the gen engine turning on. The skittish cleaner had fallen over and actually turned on the switch. By the time they realized what had happened, it was too late. Edward pushed down the line. Help! Called out Edward as he sped off. Oko arrived to see Edward speeding off. Oh no, he cried. Edward is too old of an engine to handle that high a speed. If he keeps up, he'll fall apart. Gordon was at Wellsworth when the station master came up panting. What's the matter? asked the driver. The jet engine has taken Edward, he exclaimed pantedly. You need to catch up to him and stop him. He boarded Gordon's cab as he was quickly uncoupled from his train. He then set off quickly down the line to get enough speed. Gordon thundered down the line as fast as he could. Eventually he heard Edward speed it up, getting very close behind him. We only have one chance, called out the station master. The station master pulled out a hook and leaned out from the cab, the fireman holding on to him as he did. Edward was soon overtaking Gordon slowly. Gordon's wheels pounded ferociously as he tried to keep up. The station master then got his hook around the lever and pulled, switching it off. Got it, he exclaimed handsomely. The jet engine's flames died down, and soon Edward regained control, slowly coming to a stop. The poor old engine was out of breath and felt very worn out. Luckily, though, he wasn't damaged, and Gordon backed down onto Edward, coupling up to him. We'll take you to the nearest water tower, said Gordon. You'll feel much better. Edward smiled and the two engines began puffing away. You know, said Gordon, James was right. You have a way of surprising us after all. Edward couldn't help but grin.
Fuckity fuck 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 you, Kappa. Fuck you and your Child Protection Act.